GORUCK Selection 015 is, is officially complete. Uh, one finisher, roster number 025, in my overall opinion of the entire event is, is, was great. This is by far and away the most professional and best planned GORUCK Selection we've done to date. With that, uh, overall I think the event went amazing, but I am, am disappointed. This event, you know, I don't know the exact numbers, but we had a handful of people who have completed the Leadville 100 miler. We had a handful of people who have completed the uh, Badwater Ultra Marathon, and we had more than a handful of people who have completed uh, Ironman triathlons at some place around the world. People come to this event thinking it's going to be similar in that, uh, similar to those events. It, it's not even close. Those are absolutely incredible events in respect to ultra marathoning or ultra endurance events this is hundred percent different this event matches those and exceeds them by quite a bit on the physical difficulty of those events but on top of that you now have a half a dozen or more special operations cadre trying to get in your head the whole time and make you quit again overall this was by far and away the most well-planned and, and the best selection that we've ever run but I'm still disappointed in the lack of training people do coming here. You have to train harder. We had people that trained for a year and a half, two years. We've had people that it was their fourth selection attempt. You have to train harder. Again, I'll say it, this is the hardest endurance event in the world. Hold me to it. If you've passed an ultra marathon in the top 10, if you've finished the Badwater, if you've finished the Leadville, if you've finished some of these ultra endurance events, if you're a Spartan elite, if you're a, a, a Spartan champion, come try this event and let me know afterwards how it compares. In my opinion, again, this is the hardest endurance event in the world. Show up prepared.